all right guys it is opening day and i am headed to the woods it is 4 a.m i got a little bit of a drive ahead of me uh, but uh you saw my setups that i did on my last video so i'm fixing to go get in the first stand and see how this goes i catch you in the tree What's going on guys i'm back out here for the afternoon hunt of day one and this day is not turning out to be very productive i sat here this morning for four and a half hours <clears throat> 30 minutes before daylight a guy parked his truck right down there and the wind was supposed to be out of the southwest blowing back this way instead it was blowing out of the east it eventually switched to the west, but every now and then he'd come out of the east too. I have no idea what the wind was doing. It was doing crazy stuff. And now, I get back in here this afternoon, and since that guy was already parking, I went ahead and parked my truck right down there. So my truck is that way. I walked in from that way. And now, well, now it's blowing back west again. It was blowing out of the north and blowing it back that way. But, yeah, see, it's still going. It's going out of the north. It's just swirling. So, I've got the truck that way. Downwind is that way. I mean, unless they come from right over there, I'm screwed. But hey, I'm committed. I'm already here. I didn't have an alternative set up for today. I can still get down and go move, but it's so hot. It's 80 degrees. It's actually over 80 degrees. So... I'm just going to hang with it and see what happens. You never know. I'm 20 foot up in the tree. Maybe that's high enough for them to not smell me with the wind as high. Because it's actually blowing pretty good. It's got like 10, 12 mile an hour gusts. You know, so. Anyways, sit back. Let's see what happens. Somebody's over there shooting a pistol. You're not supposed to have those out here, but somebody's over there shooting one of them. Not really sure what they're shooting, but they're shooting a pistol at something. See? Not supposed to have those out here, but there were some kids riding around on four wheelers out here. Not supposed to do that either. Maybe they'll shoot that pistol off and run some deer back this way. We'll see. <laughs> I like luck. Luck can bring you some deer running off by some kids shooting pistols. season and uh, I'm set up in the Wolf River bottoms this is like night and day different from what I was doing yesterday this feels a lot better there's a train that keeps running up and down through here and there's a highway right over here it's a pretty good ways away, but you can hear it a long ways through the woods. I set this stand up for a south wind to blow back the way I came in. And as of right 
now it's not much of a breeze but what breeze there is is constant and out of the east which is also good because I'm anticipating the deer coming from that way and I gotta tell you man a lot of things went wrong this morning but a lot of things are still going right so I'm optimistic I forgot my camera I took it out of my pack last night to plug the battery up left it sitting on the kitchen counter oops luckily though I had my cell phone mount in the truck so I've got the GoPro and I've got my cell phone so if something happens you'll still get to see it really good in here I think it's gonna be a good morning it's a little chilly I didn't bring enough clothes it's like 55 degrees which is really cold for September should be good Alright guys, that did not work very well. Squirrels were barking way over here. And I was like, okay, there's probably deer coming. I turned my phone camera around over here. And I started watching this way and I just happened to turn around. And saw a deer glimpse through a hole. I just flipped the GoPro around and the deer popped out right here. And I guess that she was at 30. I just got my rangefinder out. I was spot on. She was exactly 30 yards. I don't know if she jumped the string or what. I mean, I could have hit her, but it didn't make a sound like I hit her. And she ran off like nothing was wrong. And she took her little buddy with her. They never blew, so I'm going to keep hunting like nothing happened and see what happens. I felt good about this spot. I knew there was going to be deer coming through here. I hate that I had to get it on the GoPro and not the phone because there's no zoom. But the spot worked out. The deer just came out behind me, which was weird. Alright guys, it's 8.09. I shot at that doe like five minutes ago. Because I know the deer are moving right now, I'm going to wait until about 9. 
I'm gonna go get my arrow. I'm pretty sure I missed her. I think I shot, I don't know if she ducked or if I just shot high. But it looked like I shot right over her. I'm gonna give it about an hour, see if some more deer come through. Then I'm gonna go over there and get my arrow and see what happened. Good news is, is I set my stand perfect. I wish I'd have hit that deer, but I know my setup worked. That deer never had a clue I was here. Came in on a trail I walked in on too, which is also weird. I guess I didn't put out much scent walking in because she walked right across my trail. So for an opening weekend, that's about the best I would say I can hope for. Is I got a shot. Big doe too, really big doe. I guess the good news is, is I ain't got to drag her out of here. She'll be in here next time. Squeaky clean. <laughs> no, except for that end. That was a swing and a miss. <laughs>